Okay. Okay. All right. I'm a little sad because I lost my turn. That's all right. We can recover. Can see you eating cookies. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. I did grab a cookie. The cat is indeed back for more. Aww, I was really hoping to get another land out of that. I think it is better to cast. Good thing most of my deck is two drop or lower. <laughs> no, I, I show off my cookies. See, look. I baked them, so I'm proud of them. Mice don't steal cookies. It's just if you give them a cookie, it's a problem. Dude, I don't know what is going on. I can't get another land. And it's like every match today. There we go. See, now I'm going to feel a lot better about casting my Adanto Vanguard that they won't be able to counter it. How many lands am I playing in my deck? Um, this deck admittedly has fewer. Uh, I believe it has 22 or 23, but most of my decks run 24 land. Oh, really? Oh, it is. Hmm. I wonder how to fix that. I've never had that happen before where it just stops updating. 
Okay, um... Gotta take my turn first. Yep. Or you might get an, an adorned cat, and he's two, but same principle applies. I'm just gonna swing wide. <laughs> Probably. But I can eternalize things if he fumigates. Embalm and eternalize. Because I have him too. So... Um... Yeah, that's why I didn't swing with everything, just in case he had settled the wreckage. The blue chain thingy. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> so I just tried to refresh this, and it, uh, I don't think it really worked. Not sure if maybe I would have to sign out and sign back in again. Oh, yes. Yeah, on um on the vampire, the 3-3 vampire, yeah. That just means he doesn't untap during untap step. Correct. Um, all right. Next question. Getting ready. Here it comes. Who warned the gate watch not to go to Amonkhet? That is not correct. It was someone outside of the group that went. Nope. 
Also, only one guess per question. All right, time is up. Whoa! <laughs> that says time is up. Um, so the correct answer was a Johnny. A Johnny said it was a bad idea. The gate watch went anyway. Close, <laughs> close. Uh, we'll do the next question right away. All right, here it comes. What is the name of the person Chandra reunites with on Kaladesh in the Kaladesh set? Chandra Nalar is Chandra's name, but who does she reunite with? Yes. I love trivia too. I appreciate you not spoiling it, Blue Crucial. And feel free to Google away on any of these questions. All right, that is time. She reunited with Pia, her mother. We'll do one more question before moving on to the next game. Okay, here it goes. What is the name of the card that represents the fate of Emrakul on Innistrad during Eldritch Moon? So during the events of Eldritch Moon, there is a card that illustrates what happened to Emrakul. Yeah. That is correct. Yay. Gooey for life. We got it. I am noting your name down. And I will send out that code after the stream. Congratulations. It's a good card, especially because it can take care of planeswalkers. <laughs> they had persist. Um, I think we're just going to attack. I 
and then go for a Gonto Vanguard. Seems like this might be a mono blue build. We'll bait with the pouncer. Oh, that went through. All right. We'll do a cartouche of solidarity on our sky marcher. Aha! The nice thing about Embalm and Eternalize is that they can they can counter the spell, and then you can just do it from your graveyard, and they can't counter that. What do you think the odds are that they have another negate or unsummon or something? Yes, disallow. That's that's the one card. But they can't do it like a normal counter. And there's their disallow. Speak of the devil. Yes, Tyrone, speak of the devil. <laughs> I battle for the forces of your obvious choice. This is really tough. Should I do the island or the island? Actually just swim directly at them. Ignore corn. Oh. Yes. <laughs> just start talking about the opponent scooping or getting no land. That seems like a good choice. They only have one white source, so they cannot settle the wreckage. They can seal away. Ooh, Torrential Gear Hulk. I'm gonna put out my other stuff.
They could flash out what's his face. So let me actually swing. Or they could flash out Torrential Gear Hulk again. Hot diggity dog. And they'll put Sky Marcher back in my hand if they're smart. Oh, wait. What happened? Did they just give up? Or maybe it was a misclick? Oh, they only had one. Okay. All right. <laughs> Nothing else in there but counter spells, right? Um, okay. Just gonna double check the count. Two, three, four, five, six. There are three keys left. So we're gonna hop into the next question now. They've been flying by. And here comes the question. Who killed slash unmade the Archangel Avacyn? <laughs> 30 seconds left who killed slash unmade the archangel avacyn Time is up. It was Soren, which was especially tragic because he created her. All right, I'm gonna hop into the next question. Right? Okay, here we go. Who suggests the Oath of the Gatewatch? Whose idea was it? Thirty seconds. Who suggests the oath of the gate watch? Whose idea was it? Time is up. Al Gore. <laughs> Almost. It was Gideon, of course. Of course it was Gideon. Um, since nobody was entering any guesses, I'm gonna hop into another game for now. Um, because there maybe more people will be coming and guessing later.
Um, I'm going to switch decks. Let's do... Let's do blue. Gideon the Boy Scout. Yep. That's him. Incidentally, when the Eldraza came out, Jace was like, we should just get out of here, guys, because we can. And Gideon was like, no, we have to protect the multiverse. Oh, I'm glad you like my deck names. I have a variety of, of land art. It defaults to the Rivals of Ixalan, but you can put in different ones, which I enjoy. Um, do I just put this out now? I don't think I do, because it'll die, because they're a black deck. She's <laughs> been going through some personality disorders. Yeah. I mean, Jace, Jace was almost evil and then kind of became lawful neutral when he was the Guild Pact. And then... You know, now I'd say he's pure good. Um, I guess I'll draw a card. One, no. I need two more land, and then I can take it. Yeah, Jace is like, I don't have the trauma. I'd like to at least get a blocker out. Or um, instant destruction fodder. Oh, I'm surprised. Passive likes an MTG. Yeah, a little bit. Um, Gonna draw a card and slow down their pummeling of me. And then they'll probably recast it next turn, and then I can take it. No attacks, unfortunately, they have reach.
fodder. I'd rather they not have another big thing out that can block. Trial of Ambition. Um... I don't super want to sack my stuff. How to use MTG bot? Um... Exclamation point, card, then whatever it is. That's how you use the card command, anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to draw extra. Uh, it's not just you. I am having trouble with it. When it had the, uh, <laughs> when it had the, um, when it had the disconnection, it seems to have broken it. Yeah. I just realized I could have cast Boral first and made it cheaper, but oh well. Yeah. Even when I, you know, I was forced to restart it. It did. Yeah, the chat box definitely broke. <sighs> My poor YouTube people are gonna be like, what's going on? All two of them. <laughs> They're gonna be like, what is happening? <sighs> Sometimes things break. My YouTube is literally, I take my streams and, you know, Twitch is gonna, um, that's interesting, um, I'm 
Okay. Um... Twitch doesn't keep your videos forever. So, when they're gonna be deleted, I download them, and then, uh, put them up there. Fall into my trap. My plan is that they swing Gaunty, and I kill it with a Nimble Obstructionist, and then I can have Nizal swing without fear. Oh, yeah, uh, no, the Sokka will make me discard on their turn. So I just have to empty my hand, which I will do. Ugh, of course they have more death touch. Of course they do. This is like a death touch deck. We've been we've been limping along here, but oh boy. I think you mean R.I.P. Blue. <laughs> T.Y. Blue. Oh, oh, Blue Crucial, yeah. YouTube channel needs a cookie bake-off video. <laughs> what, just like, where I bake cookies? And then I, like, bake cookies again against myself. <laughs> That's funny. I do have two copies in the deck. Here they both are. You'd watch the hell out of that. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna buff their dread shade up and yeah, I, I am, I am le dead. Dude, I have, have I even won a game? I think I won one game today. I'm doing real bad today. Arcane Vampire's Pawn. Uh, no, I don't want to play again. Cause we gotta, yes, I did. I did win against that person. Okay, so we're going to try doing a question again. Well, but I don't want I don't want people to um don't guess if you already have a key. Uh, but other people, please throw out a guess. Especially, like, if it's near the end. Okay. Just trying to remember which question we were on. Yeah. Okay. Who raised, summoned Kozilek on Zendikar? It was not Elish Norn. This is, um, the Oath of the Gate Watch. That 
Battle for Zendikar block. Ten seconds left. Okay. That one was hard. It was Obnixilis. He was a huge jerk. All right, let's try another question. We're, we're kind of moving into origins now. <laughs> okay, here we go. What was Gideon's original first name? It was not Gideon. Gideon is not his original name. It was revealed in Origins. It was not Gerard. Well, <laughs> I, I, I see what you're going for, but no. <laughs> they were similar characters. About 20 seconds left. It is very Greek indeed. Nope, it was not Joseph. His name was Kithian. And when he was on, when he accidentally planeswalked to Bant, they misheard as Gideon and he just kept the name. All right, let's uh, let's do one more question before we hop into another game. <laughs> okay. What was the name of the person that Liliana was trying to heal? when it all went wrong and her planeswalker spark ignited. Hi, Rykor. We're, uh, yes, it was. That's correct. Good job, Manifound. You haven't won yet, right? Just double checking. Yeah, all right, cool. Yes, his name is Joseph S. So um, I'm gonna put your name down. Ah, okay. Mana Fount. And let me do a count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like we still have two keys left. Liliana is extremely badass, but she's also like damaged. But that makes for an interesting character. What do I want to play? I, what I want to play is Singleton, but we don't have that option anymore. Uh, I'll play Alenda.
Flavor text is an acceptable source. Also Google. I encourage Googling here. Um, okay. Oh, I go first. Um, we'll do that and get a planes. I hope we'll be able to cast you, Henny, next turn. I'm worried about counter spells. Okay, good. Because next turn we can, uh, excellent binding him if we need be. See why they don't, you know, in order to save space. Like, I get it. But, yeah, I do miss the flavor a little bit. Um. No. Wait, really? I like it. Yeah, it does. See? It has the card big, flavor text type, haste. The more you know. I'm gonna try to not put my focus crumbs everywhere. Definitely. Mana found MVP. <laughs> this is useless. I think what I'm probably going to end up doing is Bantu's Last Reckoning. Because I cannot kill these with this, because they're artifact creatures. Hmm. 
I, I just want them to empty their hand a little bit more first before I use my big board wipe that doesn't allow me on tap. Now, should I sack a creature? Now he's going to be a 3-3. So I actually can block the stuff. But he's gaining two life every time one enters. So it's kind of an icky... Uh... Combo. I have six mana? It's not bad. Game's finally not mana screwing me, guys. <laughs> oh god, he's gonna get something good, too. You don't get to cast it. Ha 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 ha. Maybe I can start making a little bit of a dent here. And I still have a 2-2 with which to block. Because, see, here's what I really don't want to happen. What I really don't want to happen... <laughs> is that they it's in the deck they just don't have one um what i really don't want to happen actually fatal push wouldn't kill this unless something had left the battlefield because it's a three Not looking good for us. 
Not looking good. Yep, literally losing a game because of Fox wearing a hat. Indeed. If they counter this, it's over. But they do not counter it. So I he can block without dying. But I'm trying to think. Um because I'm gonna be taking four probably. Or two if they decide not to swing the fox wearing the hat. No, I'm gonna take six. Or no, I'm gonna take less apparently. He's going for the slow burn. Their ravenous chupacabra will die, but that's kind of incidental to me, you know, putting a plus one plus one counter on this. Whichever one. <laughs> They're both eight drops I don't want to cast. It's a good card. Definitely a good card. Yes, play more creatures. Play more creatures. <laughs> okay. So now I have to think about if it is better for me to attack with Forerunner of the Legion? Or to leave it up as a blocker? I think it is better to leave it up as a blocker. Well, let me think about this, because I'll be at seven. I can block with that. They will have... Hmm. Yeah, it's better not attack. I might be dead anyway, but it's too much of a risk to attack at this point. Because I could gain one, but potentially lose two, so... What would be really great 
is if we top deck a land next turn and can then make our life total 10. That would be pretty fantastic. They're not attacking. Okay. They're ready to just kill me in the air. Well, we top decked a land, but it wasn't the land we needed. I think that's game. Well, I can cast it for the reduced cost. That's probably the best thing to do. You're welcome. And if they counter, it's over, which they do. All right. So I'm just uh, pulling up the questions again. I'm also counting to make sure that I have, to make sure I, I know how many uh, keys I have left. Okay. Yes, I'm correct. We have two left. Alrighty, here comes the next question. Get my timer set up. Who originally trained Jace on his home plane of Vern? That is correct! Congratulations, Koenig Tiger 87 I will be sending you your key via direct message when the stream is over. I'm going to go ahead and note your name down. Koenig Tiger 87 Alhamret is one of those, like, uh, I'm not really sure how to pronounce names. Okay. Let's hop into the next game. <laughs> Unexpected match complete. That was a little awkward. I do my mono black deck.
they are. They are indeed. Sphinxes are great. I'm working on building a deck that is blue, white, and flying, but I haven't finished it yet. Oh, the ones are... Aw, okay. Um, the one is for singleton. Those are singleton decks. So it's so that I don't accidentally use them for regular. Yeah. Yep. Because I have faith that they're going to bring the format back. So... Alora is a good commander, for sure. Um, they're probably not going to have commander in Arena, but we're thinking that Singleton is a precursor to getting Brawl in. Yep, that's correct. One copy of everything except for basic lands. And if the card specifically says you can have as many copies of this in your deck as you want. So, like, there was a deck um, that was the, the pack rat or whatever. And, or rat... Rat Swarm or Rat Pack or... I'm getting it wrong, but, um, yeah. Um, I, I will cycle this. Try to get another land. Rat Colony, thank you. <laughs> okay, oh, they're all creatures, okay. Yes, that's correct. I think people generally enjoyed it. Now that I know... Wait. Now that I know that they're a creature deck, I'm gonna try and take advantage of that. Cause, well, they could cast the thrash, Thrashing Brontodon actually. Yeah. And then sack it immediately. But hey, that gets that out of the way. I would rather it not be on the field. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's kind of power controlled. Oh, I forgot I put this in here. <laughs> That's a good one. Um Yes, yes you did. <laughs> uh, it's a red, white, and blue vehicle deck. So, Murica. I did it for uh, July 4th special.
both of those are more dangerous than they look. No, that's even easier. Dual color is easier. Red, red, white, red, white dinosaurs. Do that. Or, um, red, white, Amonkhet has some good stuff, too. Red, white, exert. way to incorporate a maple leaf unfortunately you would probably need tree folk and tree folk are not really a thing in current standard and they're also green I'm a little bit scared because they have six land right now and I only have three, but, and they can cast a Tali next turn. Ooh, and here comes the Needle Tooth. Yes, please swing it. Please swing that. I think you should swing that. You should definitely swing that. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes! Actually, I'm not even gonna block. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. Hmm. They might be. Oh no! They don't understand menace! Menace. I think they must have been a new player. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have just one more key. It's going great. We are doing a beta key giveaway. We've been doing it all stream. We've got one key left. Yeah, the ranks are, I don't even know what they need anymore. They're a little awkward. So I'm gonna repaste the rules since I think Tyrone went offline. Okay, we're, we're getting down to the bottom of the barrel here in terms of questions, so. All right. Um, they are lore questions. So, um, like, 
there was a the the previous one um which koenig tiger won was who originally changed jay trained jace on his home plant plane oh my god i cannot talk who originally trained jace on his home plane of Vern? and the answer was alhamaret so specifically magic lore questions all right so here we go what is the name of Nissa's home plane? That is correct. You are right, Denoe. Sweep it in at the last second. All right. Congratulations, Denomi. Uh, you are going to get a key from me uh, at the end of the stream. Denomi. 101. And unfortunately, that is the last key that we have to give out today. Um, if you guys want to stay and keep watching me play, I'm going to be playing for the next half hour or so. Um, so, yeah, yeah, uh, it's going to end around five, uh, so in about half an hour. And um, I'm going to send you all messages um, in Twitch. Congratulations to the winners. And again, thanks to uh, Chris Clay for providing them. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I think they're going to do it eventually. Ooh. I want more land on that. Of course, no problem. <laughs> that's a lot of land, but that's all right. Uh, we'll bottom that. Oh, best fatal push ever. Best fatal push ever. I hate that card. <laughs> it is only standard. Um, or at least standard cards. Oh, I have to target them. Um... They sometimes have different sorts of formats, like um, we were just talking about earlier, they had this thing called Singleton, but it's still within the existing pool of cards, and right now, those are standard cards. Uh, yeah, they're going to be adding Core 19 um, next week. Yeah, July 12th. Um, they said that in the update, they're going to allow us to pick our own avatars, actually. So that's exciting. They won't just change, we'll be able to pick them. I started as an EDH player too. Um, so yeah, the, the ones you'll want to look at are Kaladesh, um, on up. That was a little lame, but it's all right. Joy Ravatar, you come? Yeah. EDH is commander. Um, so it is, oh boy. Sorry, I'm, I'm about to die really hard. <laughs> Oh, oh, so much death. Yeah. Yeah, that is, that is the GG. Um. Mm. 
No, this is only actually worthwhile if it's five or more swamps. don't think we can make this happen because they they get they're gonna get to walk the flank so I won't even be at one I'll be at zero okay I'm just gonna concede because they have it Singleton, yeah. One thing that's interesting about Brawl versus Commander, so Commander is the 100 card version. Brawl is a 60 card version that still has a Commander, but it's standard league cards only, and you can have Planeswalkers be your Commander, which is um, unusual. That That's not something that you can do in uh, the actual... EDH format, generally, unless it specifically says on the card. Yes, yes, excellent tip. Best tip for all people getting codes today, hit Z to undo a mana you didn't mean to tap, 100%. Also, be careful when tapping your mana. Um, if like, don't rely on the auto-tapper if you need specific colors, because it will screw you. Many a game has been lost. Yeah, disabling auto I I have auto tap on still, but I also play a lot of monocolored decks where it doesn't really matter. So Um I think I will exile which one? Exile that. Yeah, there are there are um, pre-constructed decks. Um, I find that my favorite pre-constructed ones were the vampire one and the dinosaur one. I felt like both of those worked fairly well. Oh, and the Mark Folk one's pretty good too. But those three ones if you kind of tweak them, work okay. There we go. I just did it right then.
I really wish I had left one mana open. Because I could have cast Bone Picker and then not been dying. That's alright though. I just didn't really get any of my early drops and they out aggroed me. There are some dual lands that I still don't have. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'm like the best example because I'm not a hugely competitive player, but I don't have all of the dual lands and I still win sometimes. But my most powerful decks are monocolor, so. Mm. Take that one, because that one can kill Kite Sail. Here we go again with Death Touch Tribal. Actually, I should probably save it for that. else they got. Yeah. Unfortunately, they do have another one, looks like, but... At least slow them down a little bit. Oh, Bantu! Alright! We got a god on board! Yeah, yeah, the starter decks are surprisingly not terrible. Kind of getting down to it, so.
I'd actually really like to get this out so they could start. Of course, then Bonsu would be able to attack. Yeah, no problem, right? I thought I was gonna... okay. I thought I was gonna be able to, uh, activate its ability, but maybe that's... Oh, I didn't have the man open. I'm a dum-dum. I can still get a board wipe. Or was he undead? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we see Josu again in the Dominaria set. Um, you know what? Let's kick it. We're, we're, we're playing just terrible today anyway, so we'll do a fun deck. Nice. Gonna get a mountain. Mountain. I did Dominaria arts for this. That makes sense. Regular. They don't have any mana out. They won't have a response or anything. Yeah. That's true, that's true. Um... Super growth. No point.
Yeah, the chat broke, unfortunately. Yeah, we tried to fix it during, but it, it wasn't fixing, and yeah, so the, the YouTube fam is going to miss out on the awesome chats that were had today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there was a little uh, internet blip, and I actually had to restart my stream. Now I wouldn't even be able to chunk block it. Nice. They have to discard properly. Oh no, they can cast more stuff. So what would be smart for them to do is to just try and kill me in the air and then leave their stuff open to block my hits. Yeah, they're not they're not having any problems.
They didn't even kick it. Lame. See, they did all that stuff, and they didn't need to. They could have just done that. <laughs> but they're like, no, I'm just, I'm gonna take my turn. Oh, they could have just realized, too. Maybe they didn't realize it at first. Can we get a fifth win? In order to... To get this a happening. It's possible. Let's try this deck. Oh! I should have done the cat deck. You're right. Now I'm gonna lose. So this deck is still kind of a work in progress, um, but it tries to take advantage of Aetherflux Reservoir. Paradoxical outcome in it. Gonna try and get another land. Awesome. Gonna try and get that land. I think it matters, but I'm gonna use it the mana anyway. Aww. Yeah, I missed Singleton. It was fun being able to experiment with lots of different stuff. Yeah. I mean, this is, this seems like a uh, black, white knights. And of course, drafting is kind of expensive. And that was always great about Singleton was that the entry fee wasn't exorbitant. <gasps> oh, 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 ho, ho. They want to fight. <laughs> yes, it is.
Okay, we're gonna lose again. actually gonna bottom this now because literally the only thing that will save us at this point is River's Rebuke. Too bad we're not gonna get it. I will draw seven cards but it won't do anything because I don't have any mana to cast them. Oh hey! It's not enough but... And I will stay a little bit and play cats because someone asked nicely. Um, should I do Huatli cats? I think I do Huatli cats. So this will be my last one. Because then I shall need to go and get dinner. I have leftovers, so I don't have to cook today. That's why I can stay a little bit extra. No early drops. Draw into something. Well, that's a good sign. They're opting on their turn instead of my turn. Maybe they're inexperienced.
Probably. No plays on the first three turns. And they're a blue deck. So once once uh, we can actually start playing things, they're going to start being countered. Probably. Oh, jeez. Exactly. Does it resolve? Of course it doesn't. But my next thing will resolve. Come on, tenor shoot. They are not. Oh, There are kitties in this deck, I'm just not drawing into them. I think once Core Set is out, Mill's gonna be a little bit more viable. Gaining a little bit of life. Yeah, I have, I have the one one. Oh, that's terrible. Well, crud. I have um the sacred cats. I have a Dorn pouncer. I have. I have, um, Feral Cat or whatever, the 1-3 one, the one that says when it dies you draw a card. So I have, like, several cats in this deck. And you Arena, how do you earn more cards? Um, you get cards for winning games, you get gold for winning games as well, um, and you can go buy packs with that. Frail Prowler, thank you, yes. That was interesting. Yes, tap out all your blue. We might be able to come back. Crested Sun Mares in our hand, and they are tapped out of blue. comes a horse. Do 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 do. Yeah, they're doing more.
Yeah, well, the reason is because they are going to be giving more uh, wild cards to begin with. So that's why. It's not quite RIP because I have settled the wreckage. So, like, if they attack next turn, I can get rid of all their stuff and then maybe be on par. But they're going to do it. We just have to hope they don't have a counter spell. All right, let's go for it. Probably game. I would like to draw into a cat so that I can prove that I have cats in this deck. But alas, we do not. I'm going to gain a little bit of life here. It kind of depends on how much they can prowess out. We might have one more turn. Yeah. Right. Well, it depends on how much he can prowess. So we block the thing on the ground with our 1-1. One, one, and then this is a 3. This can become a th Four. It, it it might be it might become a five. If all three of these are sorceries, then yes, we are dead. But no, so we're not dead yet. We're we're probably dead, but not yet. Give me more life link. Give me more tokens. <laughs> ah. That's that's uh that should be it. Well, no tax cuz I'll I'll gain 2, but then they can do 3 that should be that should be game. Oh, no, it's not. They don't have any instance of sorcery, so they can't... They can't activate that. They can't boost him. So I technically live to see another day. Yes. There is. <laughs> That's why I'm just like, come on! <laughs> and again, if they don't kill this, and if they don't have an instant sorcery, they'll only deal four, I'll gain one, I'll be at one. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Nope. This game.
I'll let them swing, it's fine. Okay. I will do one more because we didn't get any cats somehow. I could probably play like the actual cats build. Like the pre-con? Four more years? <laughs> what does that mean? And no cats in my open hand. <laughs> uh, they're Ammon Cat Cats. Oh, like the musical. Jellical Cats, yeah. I've never actually seen Cats the Musical. I've heard a couple of songs, though. Oh, we're gonna lose. Wild growth walker on turn two is never a good sign. Especially when I don't have any creatures in my hand to even kill, kill it with. And it's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. The cats don't love me anymore. They're like, you've been playing with other decks all day. Um, I'll wait, I guess. Pretend like I have a green counterspell. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This is an instant, so I can do it later. Usually only do this on my turn if I need like a land drop or something, but I had plenty, so. So I'm probably about to lose five or six, and then I'll gain four and draw a card. Woo, they think I have seal away, look at that. Lucky us, that's why you wait. That saved me from taking two additional damage. Um. Sure, I'll email it as well. <laughs> I enjoy how I'm not getting any creatures. On the plus side, they don't seem to be getting any uh, explore cards. There we go, there's one. And then next turn, I should be able to either ambuscade or pounce. Get rid of that thing. Yeah, 
Yeah, I love how this is literally the one with the cat on the box, and it's just like, eh, no cats today. Oh, nope, I won't be able to, because here comes Ravenous Chupacabra to kill my one creature. Excuse me. Kill one of them at least. Slow them down a little bit. Yeah, we finally got one, guys. Yeah. But right now he's summoning sick, so... That is not a good, that is very bad. So here's literally what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we exert our sovereign we get four cats. He's really big. We can then pounce and probably kill this. So we're not blocking, and we'll be at one. Okay. Get four cats. Okay. And then we have to pass. As long as they can't kill two of them, we live and we gain some life. Maybe we'll top deck settle. I don't know.
They don't have any green untapped, so I don't think we're gonna suddenly have trample or anything. Now, I think we do this. Make many, many cats. You are the chosen one. Go forth, gain us much life. This is starting, starting to feel a little bit more doable. We're clawing our way back. Awesome comment, Brew Crucial. <laughs> Make sure you get your cat spayed, otherwise this is what happens. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Wait! Why did they tap their own stuff? We're just close to dead. Can I draw cards? No. Yep. Yeah, Henny's expertise. It's a good card. We probably take eight. That was interesting. I'm not sure why they did that. That was weird. They should do that in response to me trying to kill them or something. Cool, that's game. Well, that was disappointing. But I had a good time with all you guys today. I really appreciate you tuning in. Um, I'm gonna be uh, going ahead and sending those keys now. Um, I hope you have a wonderful evening, and uh, I will be back Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So, have a wonderful night.